I found out what Nayuda's real purpose is, but how could I know? I mean, she hasn't done anything. She hasn't even really appeared in three years. Well, just snuggle with your Pachita plush and chill, because we have to go back a while. A little more... A little more. There we go. Before Chainsaw Man or even Fire Punch, Fujimoto published a little-known one-shot called Yogen no Nayuda. I know a lot of you will know what it's about, but for those who don't, essentially Denji, I, I mean Kenji, and Nayuda are brother and sister. And Nayuda is prophesized to destroy the world. And from there, it's mostly just her trying to do the right thing. Like one time she kills a bunch of cows just so her big brother can eat a full meal. Or you know, later she casually tries killing an entire city just because they beat up her brother. It's hard to definitively say if any of that will be foreshadowing in Chainsaw Man, but I think it's rather obvious Fujimoto might be taking a little bit of inspiration from his older works. So I think the plot about trying to do the right thing but getting it a little wrong might come into play. Especially with how Nayuda is literally the newest incarnation of one of the strongest characters we have ever seen. But like I said, since we haven't even seen any of Nayuda, how can we even begin to guess what she'll try to do for Denji? Well, that's kind of the thing. We specifically haven't seen Nayuda for a reason. The one time we would have even gotten a glimpse at her, she's slightly out of frame. Why did Fujimoto hide her? Well, let's go back to that part of the manga. The immediate the immediate next frame is the reveal of the fake Chainsaw Man, and that's when it hit me. We've seen Nayuda this entire time. Nayuda has been everywhere, we just didn't realize it. Chapter 99, Two Birds. The title is seemingly about Asa and Yoru, especially since Asa's last name Mitaka means three hawks. But why, if she is three hawks, would it be titled Two Birds? Well, we see in a few pages that two birds are flying over Asa. It could easily represent both Asa and Yoru moving together in one body, but just wait because the more we see birds, I feel like it's less likely and the more it points towards something else. Right before the end of that chapter, three more birds appear, which actually is probably relating to Asa, especially since they seem to be hawks. But I want you to take note that this shows up right after Chainsaw Man is mentioned. After that though, birds really aren't seen for a while. Seven chapters in fact, but then they show up right before Yuko's attack on the school. And even later in that chapter, we see more birds, and yet again, it's right after Chainsaw Man is mentioned. Kind of weird. Chapter 109. This is right before Denji's arrival at the Yuko fight. There's more birds. So does birds and Chainsaw Man have a connection? And now we're here. The Fake Saw Man reveal. Right before Yuko's demise, more and more and more birds? Why are they acting like this? This isn't really natural. Oh wait. Who was it that could conveniently control birds all throughout part one? And again, who was conveniently slightly out of the shot? Yeah. That's right. Nayuda has been here all along, watching us from the sky. And in fact, I don't just believe that part. I believe Nayuda herself is the fake Chainsaw Man. Okay, I, I know, it's shocking and it's extremely hard to believe, but trust me, it'll start to make more sense soon. So we know it's pretty possible that she has been these birds. Of course, Makima was able to control them, so why wouldn't she? But how could she be Chainsaw Man? Denji's clearly asleep right here. Well, that question takes us all the way back to the final part of part one. When Denji uses a part of his heart to create another Chainsaw Man to fight for him. See? I told you it'll make more sense. Nayuda is controlling part of his heart while Denji's asleep. And that isn't just for no reason. Denji stated that Nayuda is extremely smart. So it's possible she might be doing this because she knows Denji wants to out himself as Chainsaw Man. This would help hide his identity. Because like we just saw in the new chapter, she deeply cares about Denji. And if he was to be outed, everything would be crumbling down. Or she might also be seeing it as trying to help Denji. Because like I said before, if she's similar to Nayuda in Yogen no Nayuda, it would make sense. And then Chainsaw Man's other mysterious figure, Yoshida, he probably knows about all this. And honestly, he might have been the one to get her up to this. And it would make sense why he would be okay with it. And he probably keeps Denji in the dark for a specific reason. But before we get to the actual crazy parts of this, I have to quickly point out Chainsaw Man's similarities to Spider-Man because I actually feel it backs up what I just said. Just think about it here. Both are kind of loser kids in high school, both are secretly superheroes, and even part of Denji's character is the exact inverse of Spider-Man. The number one most important thing to Spider-Man is keeping his identity hidden. But 
Denji, we know how he feels about that. And in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, Green Goblin gives Peter a moral dilemma, known as the trolley problem. He could either save his girlfriend but let a car of kids die, or he could have saved the kids and let his girlfriend die. And of course, Spider-Man says, nah, fuck that, I'm choosing both. And that relates because once again, Denji is the exact opposite. The cockroach devil basically gives him the same dilemma. He has to either save one bright young man or a car full of old people. And of course, Denji says, fuck that, I'm choosing neither, I'm saving a cat. Again, that's the inverse of Spider-Man. So Nayuta controlling part of Denji in his sleep could be a similar mirror of the symbiote suit, where in Spider-Man, the symbiote suit would cause him to fight crime in his sleep. And if you think, well, maybe this is all one big coincidence, and if you're wondering if Fujimoto likes Spider-Man, he specifically shouts it out in Fire Punch. But all of that isn't even the craziest thing going on with Nayuta. It's kind of just the beginning. We're gonna skip the aquarium arc really quick, because there is almost nothing about Nayuta there. But right after that arc is something I think is absolutely huge, and will play into the future a lot. Do you guys remember Yoru's attempt at turning Denji into a weapon? I'm sure you do. Well, the chapter directly after it, when we find out that it didn't work, wait, what's that? Birds. Nayuta saw it all. And before someone says, well, actually, she wouldn't have seen it because the birds are outside and this happens inside. Ah. I'm just going to assume that Fujimoto is currently using birds to show Nayuta is listening slash watching. And after that, it brings us to our current chapter, where Nayuta finally shows up. Everyone has seen that Yoru kisses Denji and Nayuta calls her a thief. But I don't think her calling her a thief has anything to do with the kiss like most people believe. Nayuta knows that Yoru is trying to take Denji away from her, trying to kill him. And that is why she calls her a thief. Nayuta won't have any of it. But I don't believe this control will work. Well, kind of. If I had to guess, what Nayuta actually believes as lower than herself is in fact Yoru and not Asa. The reason I think this is because Yoru and Asa are two different people. They just share the same body. And I'd assume with how devils work, Nayuta's control works specifically on the soul instead of the body, or the mind of the person. And clearly they have two different souls. And we can clearly see the chain controlling Yoru right here, but what if Asa just takes back over the body? It would break Nayuta's control, right? I really doubt Nayuta has experienced anything like that before, so maybe she'll start to see Asa as better than herself and become unable to control her. And that one specific thing sets up for my final theory on what the entire role of Nayuta in Chainsaw Man will be, saving Asa. It's clear to see that Denji and Asa have a growing fond relationship, and I think even maybe Fujimoto agrees that it's time to give Denji a real relationship, so it would definitely be in Denji's best interest to save Asa from war if he can actually learn about Yoru's control on her. The issue is, war exists inside of Asa. Asa has been told that she can't tell anyone of war, or else war will completely take over killing Asa. And obviously, War wouldn't willingly become friends with Chainsaw Man. Her entire goal is to get him to bring back nukes. And if I had to guess, she wants that because she wants nuclear war to increase her strength, but that's for another time. But what if Nayuta was able to make War confess to what's going on with her and Asa? Yoru really can't blame Asa for that, so she might not take over. Nayuta could also keep Yoru on lockdown, maybe forever or until they can find a way to completely get rid of her. Or maybe even from that, they could use her to try and defeat Famine. And even possibly death, or make one giant four horsemen harem. And here's one last oddball theory, for people still watching. Maybe at the end of the series, Nayuta is gonna use her fake saw man to eat Yoru, Famine, and Death and get what Makima actually wanted, but that one is a complete guess. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and shout out to Cozy on Twitter. They allowed me to use their art in the thumbnail, but sadly I didn't get to do it. I think they still deserve a shout out because they have some of the best Chainsaw Man art on Twitter.